right here right now concepts and that's the attempt to try and just consolidate everything right here right now based on what is actually actually occurring on the board um, I think we do this a few times throughout the year um, just to ascertain where we're at and see if or not we can pull it off or not and each move has to have a rationale so comfortable in this position but as we mentioned previously that is one of the little kind of areas that need to work on in terms of what realistically is comfortable it's because I'm used to seeing it and um, 9 times out of 10 the pattern follows the same sort of line so I'm feeling comfortable that I know the pattern but am I being comfortable in actually accepting that I'm actually going to lose from this position and not actually realising it or am I comfortable in the position because I feel I'm going to get an advantage so I think there's a massive difference in the understanding of being comfortable I watched other players play as well online and I just I come to that conclusion as well for them is that yes they feel fairly safe with their types of openings but they feel safe but still they get caught maybe in the same sort of disadvantageous positions because they're comfortable being in that position so it's almost self-destructing ourselves we're being comfortable with self-destructing so as we say this is pretty straightforward stuff we have to challenge that well this is pretty straightforward stuff is it a good position realistically last piece to get developed is the bishop let's bring it out we do like attacking through the center here but things have moved on a little bit haven't they we really do like doing this move x ray through are we realistically going to take the knight though because it's going to double the pawns but then it's going to have access to our king area so used to doing this but we do know that when we do go here 
if the knight jumps in because we're fa fairly familiar with that line if just the knight jumps in blocks it they do appear to have a bit of an advantage it's better if they take then it opens up the file but probably we know the knight's going to jump in here which tends to give them the slightest of advantages which we don't really want them to have but bringing it here does have an x-ray through to the rook but realistically if they push do we really want to open up this file that picture would have been fairly okay just looking at it now just from the queen actually moving there because if we had got rid of the knight then we would have been able to jump here that would have pinned their queen so that's why they've moved that their queen I think yes very good nice to try something a little bit different so the queen's moved to this spot obviously the knight can jump in here his knight's not going to take because the bishop will take the queen so it looks like there's a bit of a double whammy going on there so this looks a little bit um, we seem to have got here a bit quick I mean this is move 10 and it's not a clear win or anything but it feels like a nice starter and um, we've got the queen under pressure I mean the queen has moved I think probably because it did see this potential here so I was worried about doubling the pawns but that would have actually won their, their queen but their queen has just jumped into another sad position because it's being attacked again but it's not saying it's a clear win but we're trying to utilize the concept of right here right now and it doesn't mean over pressing it just depends on what the opponent actually gives and at this moment in time I mean there's probably potentially coming here just to get rid of the bishop because it does have the xp through but his queen is under attack so what does it do with the queen It's not going to come back here because then we do have this but we can't do that straight away we have to get rid of the knight which is protecting this square or maybe we don't we can just go for a trade down okay so it's gone top side which means we win the rook and we probably well pr win the knight probably winning a rook as well we take if if they take back they don't have to could bring his queen back here again but that looks pretty straightforward so we'll grab oh they've taken straight away okay so they're moving a little bit quick now maybe a, probably a bit annoyed so we've got like an attack and attack here on both rooks that all looks pretty neat but it was pretty straightforward as you could see we didn't do anything special at all um, yeah and sometimes the starter of a game ends the game even before it started in a sense so you have to be very careful how you open up I've fallen foul of that many times where you're thinking you're, you're opening 
first three moves you're thinking yeah blah 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 but then after that it's like whoa why am I on the back foot why have I got so many pieces being under a threat why is my queen going to be disappearing all these questions jump in just because your opening your starter hasn't actually been fought through I think we think about the opening as oh well we'll just do a few moves just to get our pieces set set but that one that first move is the one that really should try and set you and then the follow on moves from there really have to be working together if your opponent's got any science about them they'll take advantage of the weakest of opportunities well they've moved haven't they Yeah, they're moving quick now. It's like an annoyance move. They're annoyed. Bishops attacking our pawn, and also X-ray through to our uh, our rook. Still have the bishop. Check on the king. As a momentary. <laughs> Might as well just do that. What's the focal point? This bishop's got an next way through here. I was just about to do a push onto here. Just gonna move the king out of the way. So the right here, right now, concept for me is consolidate the pieces and get them working together as best possible and formulate areas that hopefully can work to the strengths of our pieces so we want to really get some sort of open file or half open file for the rooks simply capture here rooks in the center of the board at the minute it doesn't have any support on it we've got a diagonal through to here have the bishop being able to attack the rook could we continue attacking well not really because he's probably going to push down pawn's not going to take because his rook's going to take our queen so double dose yeah the moving so quick we can afford to trade down that makes sense to me Let's see if there's anything else I think we're just going to take the knight because it looks like it's going to be a bit of a trouble so one of the key things is try not to fall into the trap of what the opponent this is a 40, 45 minute 15 second game so the opponent's moving quick trying to hypnotize us into moving quick so that we make a mistake our focal point when we did the king move was to focus on attacking this pawn now the rook's not here we could look to attack the pawn so we can open up space for our rooks So that was an earlier attacking pattern, but we couldn't do it because the rook was here and he would just probably drop his pawn. And then obviously we can't take it because the rook had this line. But now the rook's not there, as we mentioned, we can try and follow this pattern. He doesn't have to take, he could just support with his pawn here. <laughs> like I was just saying. So we can take, he takes and he's still got the pawn in that position, but we've got a lively rook file. Does that not work for us? I think I like the idea of having the 
open file trying to work to the strength of the pieces that we've got keeping these linked up tacking the palm so we can double up on the palm so tacking here tacking here potential for getting more activity in to the situation all the while thinking how can they get around the back of ours so our rooks will be owning both of the files which is what we're wanting to do the right here right now is the basics which is simplifying working the rooks together owning the files oh bless him his rook has uh, gone behind supporting the pawn As we mentioned, just bringing the rook across and now we're doubling up. He's doubly protecting at the minute. It's overworking his queen a bit. I'm happy so far. And we did mention about doubling up on this pawn as well. So, like I said, overworking that queen putting pressure towards the back that just makes sense got a double attack here double attack here it's only one piece protecting so this pawn is probably going to drop some deep thought going on maybe we do have potential for attack not sure. I mean we've still got the two on one Does this not work? If we take, is this queen going? Uh, I don't. I don't really see a problem with taking this pawn. See, the worst thing is we've got so much time here, thirty-eight minutes, and I'm just thinking you make a mistake in a thirty-eight-minute game well you've got 38 minutes left but that does make sense to me I'm going to capture Oop, what am I doing? arrows, arrows attacking his rook if his queen moves then we've got he's got, oh he's defending that though with that isn't it? What's he attempting to do? Fashion a little bit of this. He's lost his queen though. Because can't we just go here? Yeah, well, that's a shame. He's, he's lost his queen. Or her queen. Yeah, I think they should have probably gone here. Damn it. 